Hey guys, I told you I would be back earlier, and uh, I've got several calls and uh, several comments about, oh my God, you you uh, lost your mind, you went crazy. No, I didn't. Uh, simply getting my point across about things, and if you can't handle that, scroll on, go watch uh, uh, something else. I'm not I'm not making money off of YouTube. I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for anything. You know, I, I just say what I feel. And if you can't handle that, you know, that's a problem. And that's your problem, not mine. That's your problem if you can't handle what I say. Okay, yes, I've got a Baker Mayfield uh, jersey on when he was uh, playing for the Cleveland Browns. That, that was a big mistake for them um, to get rid of him. And you know why? Because he's a champion. I don't care what you think. Everyone says, oh, he disrespected Ohio State. I love Ohio State. But, man, he had the balls to come out there when they beat Ohio State and plant that flag, didn't he? I, ha I have respect for that. You know, I love Ohio State. I'm a diehard Ohio State fan. But when he done that, I was like, man, you know, I like him. Great quarterback. And he brought the Cleveland Browns out of a, a, a depth uh, that they've probably going to go fall back right into. And you know Why? Because other players couldn't stand that he got the commercials and he got the attention he did. Um, jealousy breeds envy, okay? Jealousy breeds envy. A friend of mine told me a long time ago, you know, watch yourself because jealousy breeds envy. And it does. It does. And anyway, I'm going to talk about, just shortly, um, I might talk longer than I, I'm, I'm, you never know. Um, it's a woman's prerogative. What do women know, right? Okay. Anyway, so for the last, well, for my whole career as a cop and a council person, council woman, um, I always tried to help people. And, you know, for the last uh, three years or two and a half years I've been on YouTube, excuse me, um, I've helped a lot of people, homeless people. And I told you earlier that I was going to do a video and tell you exactly what I thought about some of the people that I have tried to help, me and my friends. Um, you know who they are. I'm not going to mention their name because I don't have their permission. Um, but, um, you know, and, and I go out and um, I spend my time, um, uh, spend uh, take my effort and uh, try to make a difference. Not for me. Not for me. For them. For them. And if you, uh, you know, you'll get, to, it's, uh, somebody said, oh, the reason the homeless people don't come out is because you video them. Oh, gosh. You guys are so shallow, really. Um, I ask people before I video them if they want to be videoed. And then I did I took a picture of the lady from down the way, oh, living on the riverbank. And she asked me to, okay? She asked me to take it. And somebody said, you shouldn't do that. Well, who are you to judge me? And when you start paying my bills, I'll pay attention to what you have to say. But if you don't, I could care less what you think about me or what you determine you think about me based on other people's opinions, right? Okay. Uh, patience. Um, patience is having a, a key interest in the results. Okay. So if you don't have that, what are you, what are you doing with your life? You know, says, Oh, retire. You're retired. Enjoy yourself. Quit causing so much controversy. Well, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to speak out? Oh, gosh, no. I can't. You know, I can't do that. Um, I, but I want you to tell people. <laughs> well, I'll tell them, okay? So let's get back uh, to helping the homeless. So I'll tell you one thing. The true blue, uh, the truest blue individual that I interviewed was Larry McClellan. You know, I, uh, we simply were driving down by the old police department um, on Market Street, and he was outside playing a guitar. And Larry, if you're watching this, I love you, buddy, and uh, I'll see you soon. Um, the true blue guy. I mean, he, he is the truest blue uh, person. I'm talking about blue cops, blue mat, all that. Um, he is true blue, genuine, nice individual. And he talked about his life, and he shared uh, that when I lost my job. I had, yes, I had to sell everything I had. And he bought my police boots. And I didn't know... Uh, who that was, you know, because I was going through a lot back then, okay? And he said, I bought your police boots. And it's on the video. And I said, oh, my God. You know, I, I didn't know. I didn't recognize you. I'm so sorry. I was going through a lot back then. 
And um, so if you go back and 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 uh, just watch that video, you can see how he is. He's a, a genuine guy. And um, I'm going to go back and, and visit with him. I think I'm going to take him over to Texas Roadhouse and, and treat him to a big old uh, prime rib. Um, but anyway, so I was driving around, okay? Now, I had a, a, very, a very special friend of mine say, you don't, you don't do, you don't pick up anybody by yourself because there's no witness, right? Okay, what I do, okay, there's a girl, a woman, a lady, uh, pushing a grocery cart with all her belongings in it, right? Okay, so what do I do? I pull over and I say, hey, um, you need a ride? And uh, I said, where are you going? She goes, with you? And I said, oh, uh, no, I don't think so, but I'll take you wherever you need to go. And she said, um, I want to go with you. And I said, well, that's not plausible. Um, you know, I, you know, where you want to go? So anyway, uh, she said, I want to go out. Um, and she had uh, several uh, uh, offenses that she was dealing with. And no, I wasn't aiding and abetting a fugitive or anything like that. I was simply helping uh, this individual. So, um, so uh, she put all her stuff in the back of my car. And uh, left the grocery buggy there, okay, on the corner. And uh, so she said, I want to go out, way out, okay, in the country. And, you know, it was Saturday, and I live Ohio State. Uh, and I said, look, you know, I have to watch Ohio State here in about an hour and a half. And, uh, and she said, oh, it, it's, just, it's just right out here, okay, right? So anyway, so we went by a certain store, and, uh, you know, uh, she was, uh, and, you know, I, I don't fear for her. Um, say anything back to me. Um, I have dealt with her in the past, and uh, I don't fear anything of her saying back to me because I've been good to her. When I was a cop, I was good to her when I had to take her to jail. When I wasn't a cop, I was good to her. But anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, we went by a store way out, way out, and, uh, you know, she was barefoot, like I said, and and um, had her all of her belongings um, uh, with her, okay? Um she said, can I stop and get a piece of candy? Okay. I said, sure. So I went in with her, and she was looking at candy. And, you know, she said, you don't care if I get a piece of candy? I said, no, get what you want. Oh, big mistake. Huge. <laughs> big mistake. So I said, I'm going to go out in the car, and you just walk around. You know, because she hadn't been in a, in a store or anything. Hadn't had the capability to buy herself anything. So, you know, I made the mistake by saying... Get what you want. I meant by candy, not, um, you know, whatever. So I said, you, I'm, I'm going to sit in the car, and you just take your time, and uh, you wave at me when you want me to come back in. So I went back in. It was like $98.50, okay? So a piece of candy, okay? Honey, if you're listening, um, you know, keep on pushing that buggy, darling, because uh, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing it again. Although I didn't care to do it, but this is how uh, people take advantage of a kind heart. Okay, and yes, I'm throwing them out. I'm throwing them under the bus. You know what are they going to do to me? What are they going to do to me? And so anyway, um, I didn't realize um, uh, what that individual was all about. I knew what that person was about when I was a cop. Uh, but you know, I tend to uh, forgive people constantly which is a big malfunction on my part, um, I continually, to forgive people, um, that uh, take advantage of my kindness, okay? So anyway, uh, that was one episode, and I'm not going to finish the story because it, it gets pretty, uh, it gets pretty, uh, I don't want to uh, diminish her, um, I don't want to diminish her being a human being, so, even though she took advantage of me, I will not uh, bash her uh, for taking advantage of, m of myself. But I have learned a long lesson. And also, um, if you've seen the picture of a lady that I helped out um, in Cold Grove, um, I did a video. I was by myself, and, you know, I got her access to uh, the mission down here. Me and a friend, a close friend. Um, we, I picked her up, I videoed it, it's on my YouTube, I picked her up, and she asked me to take a picture of her, okay? Um, and I told her, I said, do, 
you know, she called a friend. And she said, get a hold of that Beth Riss because I, I need her help. And so a friend did. And I went and helped. I told the mission. I, you know, a friend of mine signed a paper and said, hey, you know, we want her to stay here for 10 days. Of course, you've got to get out uh, at a certain time in the morning. You come back in the evening, right? Okay, so I said, when, when, when me and my friend left, I said, you know, I bet you can't wait to take a hot shower. You have access to a warm bed. The, the guys were nice. They went and got her warm blankets. And, uh, you know, you know what she did? Uh, she slept there that night. Didn't take a shower. Um, left the next day. Went right back uh, to the riverbank. What the hell is that all about? You know, you had access to a shower, a hot shower. Okay, that's just one instant. Okay, here's another one, okay? Also, if you see a lady uh, down by CVS or anyplace else, and I don't care, you know, call the popo. I'm right here. Um, I don't care. I watched her. I parked across the street because her buggy was out, out front, and she was putting things in her buggy. She lives in low-income housing, okay? She sits outside of CVS, and, and, and she... she uh, she don't walk around a lot because she has to fake it, okay? So she sits by her buggy, okay? Uh, makeup and the whole hair thing, everything fixed. Um, I don't know her name, uh, but I watched her, okay? So she has a nice uh, low-income uh, house, uh, close. Um, and so she was putting stuff in her buggy, and she was standing erect, uh, upright, and and physically capable of putting those things in her buggy, right? So, I sat there, and I, I was like, you know, I'm going to wait, and if she needs my help, I'll help her, okay? So, anyway, I watched her put tons of uh, garbage bags out of her uh, apartment in a buggy, okay? And so, she got her stuff in the buggy, she locked her door, and then she started to push the buggy out to the sidewalk, okay? Then once she got to the sidewalk, she humped way over and was just barely pushing it. I just watched you put everything in your cart to grift people um, and make people feel sorry for you. I'm praying for you, honey, because God don't like that shit, you know? You know, uh, a faking being down and out, um, pick up yourself and do something for yourself because nobody else is going to do it. I'm certainly not going to do it anymore. I know who to help and who not to help now. And you know what? When you discover that, I mean, you know, I don't care. Um, you know, it, I will help you no matter what it takes. But do not take advantage of me, okay? Because once I've learned that, I'm done. 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 I mean, literally, for me to watch that, for her to come out and, and slump over and, oh, Oh, push that bug around, uh, making money off of people, just like the, the people on uh, at the bottom of the Ashton Bridge when you go across the bridge, right? Okay? You go across the bridge, and there's always somebody down there, and they say, we'll work for food. Well, you know, most people just say, hey, here's a dollar. I always do. $5, $20, $50. I always do. But what really kills me is the people that take their kids uh, in the in the winter time, and the kids don't have no shoes and socks on, and they hold the kid on their lap, and they, they make people feel so guilty about what they're going through. When they're really not going through it, they make you feel so guilty you give them money, right? They're putting their kids through hell to get money off of you, okay? Or they have a dog out there. And they say, you know, I need dog food. Well, why do you got a dog? You know, I'll give you dog food. I don't care to give you dog food. And then they'll say, I will work for money. Well, if you pull over and say, hey... Uh, you come cut my grass and uh, weed eat, I'll pay you. Well, when can can I do that a couple weeks? Well, obviously, you don't want to work for money, right? So, you got to realize that every single person in your life is not out for your best interests. They're out for themselves. So, when you prioritize yourself and you make yourself a priority um, over... Now, there's good people. There's bad people. Um, you know, uh, you're going to be bam bombarded by people that want your help, and I don't care to give it, you know, I don't care to give it, I don't care to give legal advice, and I'm not an attorney, I'm not a cop, I'm not a politician anymore, but I know the law, and I'll tell you what direction to go, and I appreciate you trusting me to give you that information, but, 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 um, when you, um, 
take advantage of that. Um, you know, sometimes I'll say it for three days, talking to people, trying to return calls, trying to, you know, have uh, two different phones, trying to keep up with things. And I'll take a healthy boundary day, right? Everybody needs a healthy boundary day because if you continue to let people control your life by you feeling sorry for them, when they could really actually do something for themselves, you know, you can't put that on yourself. Um, you know, you try to help who you can, you know, and it, it, once you help that person or persons, um, and then you see, you know, just like, I'm not going to name names, but just like a recent video a friend of mine uh, uh, had, had done, um, you know, once that person got help, uh, you know, we called and said, are you okay? Are, are you safe? Are you, oh, we're good. Haven't heard from him since, right? Haven't heard from him since. So think about that the next time you want to uh, put your hand in the cookie jar and actually uh, pick out a cookie and say, I'm going to help you. And the cookie's like, no, I don't think, uh, I don't think you are. Okay. No, I don't, I don't think I am. I'll continue to help people that need it, but I will not continue to help people that use me uh, for shit they can do for themselves. Okay. Now I'm not calling anybody's name out. Okay. I might, <laughs> I might. Uh, uh, in a later video tonight or whenever. But anyway, um, like I said before, uh, gotta, man, you gotta, you gotta have a limit to your, um, what's a, what's a perfect word? You gotta have a limit to your, um, capabilities to help somebody that really wants help. And if you uh, draw a line in the sand and you say, no more, that's a definite no more. So don't call me. Uh, don't text me. If I have helped you and you continue to say, oh, I need this and I need that and I need this and I need that, but you can do it for yourself and make three times the money I make a year, um, uh, why would I do that? Okay? If you can't help yourself, don't call me and ask me for help. Because I'm only there as a crutch. I'll help you. And I'll help you get up and maintain your stability. But I will not carry you. Okay? Okay, with that being said, I'm done. Um, like I said, um, love Baker Mayfield. I don't care who, what anybody says. Uh, this is original jersey. And uh, I'll have it. And, uh, um, you know, <laughs> you know, people, um, gosh, so many people. You're sitting right now on your couch or your recliner, and you're thinking, man, I, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. Um, oh, I wish I had this. I wish I... Quit wishing. Life is but a dream. Dream it. God bless. Beth Ray, starting Ohio.